Good morning, Tom. So nice to be with you again. I have been going into the park and just listening to you this morning has I've had kind of an aha moment. I've been my original goal was to be able to see who I am outside of my physical body, to have out-of-body experiences, you know, connect with source. And but what I've been doing is going to the healing hot springs with all of my clients and, and doing healings every time. And I'm so focused on that that I haven't I haven't been really doing what I started off at. So um I I'm going to do that. I appreciate you just talking about the having your intuition, you know, your um intention of what you want to do and you know going that place by letting go more and more and more. And I've just kind of gotten off the the path for that. So thank you. Well, Tisha, um, what you do when you're there, and it depends on where you are and what's on your mind when you start. So if where you are and what's on your mind when you start is your clients and the healing and that sort of thing, well, that's a good thing to do with it. You know, this is not a, we're not in a rush to experience everything as soon as possible. <laughs> Just use it as it comes to you. So the fact that you're using it for that particular thing, that's fine. Continue. Continue to do that. Tom's okay. Park can serve, can serve many purposes. It doesn't have to um, be any particular purpose and use it as, as you will. So don't feel like, oh, maybe I haven't been doing it right and I should be doing more with it. Well, if you're doing it right, just take it as it comes and it'll all, it'll all come to you in, in good time. But so I've bumped you a little to try to do something else and that's fine too. But it's not that what you've been doing is, is, is not good or you should do less of it. Maybe I should go twice a day. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I will share that the, the healing hot springs is amazing. The, pe the people that I have, I'm taking almost 12 people there now. And the, uh, my aunt had a uh, stage four lung cancer. And we've been going to your hot spring almost daily. And uh, a friend of mine had an, an autoimmune disorder where they gave him like a five-year uh, life expectancy. His, his body's getting blisters all over. And it's just, it's like eating himself. It's the weirdest thing. Both of them are fully on the other side of it. It's it, My aunt is fully in remission. And um, the gentleman's sores have all healed in a very quick amount of time. So, and I could just go on and I mean, the stories are amazing. And I, I just know that being there and having them present with me and doing our healings together has just been profound. So thank you for that. That's good. Uh, tell, tell everyone the uh, process you use in taking them there. So I first go into um, Tom's Park and I go visit Tom at the grill and Donna and I eat and I just immerse my senses and say hello and have a conversation. And sometimes I go to the lost and found to take it to the top for a minute and have some guidance. And then I go to, I, I imagine myself walking kind of up a hill and then turning left into the, um, the springs. And I imagine, I, call, I say hello, dear the soul of, and I say their name. And I welcome them to join me. And then I visualize them in front of me. And I do it with each person. And then I say, we're going to go to, uh, we're in Tom's Park. And we're going to go to the healing, the magical healing hot springs. And we walk as a single file line. I see them all walking with me. And we're talking and chit-chatting. And then when we get there, yes, I put in a changing kiosk there. So we all go through the changing kiosk. And we go into the water. And when as we're standing around the water, I ask them to feel how warm and hot the water is. And we start putting our toes in it and then our legs, and then we immerse ourselves. And then once we're all in the tub, I ask everybody to uh, have them to close their eyes and just have a moment of uh, gratitude for being present in this magical place of healing. And so there's a frequency that's set, I think, a, a, a joy there. Which I think raises all of our frequency to a beautiful space. And then um, I ask everybody to set their intention for what they would like to receive healing for. And I make it very clear that they're going to get whatever's perfect for them. 
whatever that might be. It, it could be physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. And, and I have everybody take some time to, to make the request. And then I have them connect with the water and visualize any kind of blockages or darkness moving through their body out the bottoms of their feet into the, the ground of the hot springs and just to feel that movement of energy going through them. And then I ask them to see the light, to see the light coming through them and just filling those areas that they have concerns with. And then, you know, spreading that light through their whole bodies, which you've walked us through on many of times, right? So just see it in the mm -hmm. spot and then fill themselves with the light. And just enjoy that time. And while they're doing that, then I look at each person individually and do my my work with them. You know, I just you know try to be a more perfect and clear channel of love and truth and healing for them. And that's what I try to focus on them as well. Just I'm just thinking it's a double whammy. So I feel like I'm doing my part, the hot spring source themselves. It's just, that's what we do. And we spend about, I mean, not that long, like say 10 minutes. And then when it's done, we give gratitude and thanks. And then I say, okay, I'm leaving. I got I got to move on. But if you want to stay, you can. Because somehow this whole process takes 45 minutes to an hour. So I think there's a, a lot of time where I'm not all consciously there, maybe. Because it seems like it's 10 minutes, but it, a long time goes by. And uh, and then so I leave and, and they're still there. And whether they stay or not, I don't really know. But I think everybody gets exactly what they need. Terrific. You know, that's very helpful. I think a lot of people will, will uh, learn from that. You know, as you know, as as usual, the active ingredient here in making change is intent, and the more you can focus that intent and, and maintain that focus, the more effective you will be. And yeah, that's very very helpful, Tisha. Thank you. Very Thank helpful. you for the part. It's wonderful. <laughs>